iPad 101, an introduction to the effective use of the iPad in your classroom. You can view this presentation on Prezi at the following address. You just go to http colon backslash backslash goo.gl slash j capital V capital U capital N H. I promise this will not be painful. This will be an easy training for you to go through. Step by step, I'm going to show you just an introduction into the basics of the iPad. This is so easy. Just yesterday, my dog did this. You can do this as well. So the first thing we'll look at is a gesture. So there are several gestures I want to show you. The first one is easiest of all. It's pinch. Just place your two fingers on the screen and pull them together, just like the picture shows. And when you do, your iPad will zoom out. And you can see there, we've pinched and now we've zoomed way out from the picture. Now, to get back to where we were, well, let's go look at the next one. Spread. Spread helps you to zoom the current page in after you've zoomed uh, out using the pinch gesture. So, as we pinch, we zoom out, but when we start with the, our fingers together and we spread, just like the illustration, we zoom in. And now I can go back and forth doing both a pinch and a spread. And spread will just keep zooming. You can even lift your fingers and keep going from where you were. See how I can zoom in and out. So the first one was pinch. Remember that's two fingers spread out, pull them together. And the second one was spread. And that was your fingers together and spread them apart. Both of those zoom in and then out. Now, a four finger swipe. Four finger swipe is very, very convenient for a teacher in the classroom. All you need to do is put your four fingers, any four fingers, I just leave my thumb out, but four fingers, put them on the iPad screen, and then swipe either left or right, and you will move from app to app, just like this. Now we are swiping, and whatever I have open next will show up. And then if I want to go back to where I was, I just keep swiping, and I'm back into where I was. So that's the four finger swipe, just four fingers on the screen, swipe left, swipe right. The next four fingers is actually a swipe up. So instead of left or right, we're gonna swipe up. And when we do this, this is the same thing as if you were to push the home button, this is the home button right here. If you were to push the home button twice, real, and real quick, you would pull up the dock of all the open apps at the bottom. Well, the four finger swipe does the same thing. So if I put four, same four fingers on the screen, now just swipe up. And you will see now all of my open apps are open and I can just one finger swipe through all of them and see everything that I have open. So when I'm done, I'll just click back on what I want and we're there. The next gesture, the five finger group. So what the five finger grouping does is it closes the current active app and brings you to the last screen you were on. So when I do this in a moment, I'm gonna, instead of four fingers, I'm gonna put my five fingers on the screen. They'll be completely spread out and I will just pull them together to make kind of a, a full-handed pinch onto the screen. And when I do that, my app will close all together. I'm going to show that to you right now. So I'm going to put my five fingers on the screen, and here I go, close. And that app is now closed. Now, of course, I want it back open, so I'm going to click on Prezi. And there we go. I am back to where I was. <laughs> so the most important gesture, I think, of all these is not really so much a gesture, as it is a useful tip for your iPad. A lot of times we'll have things on our screen that we really want to just capture that screen. And what we need to do is a screenshot. So on computers and PCs, we could just hit the print screen button, or if you're familiar with Macs, you could just Command Shift 4 or Command Shift 5 and kind of take what you want on the screen. Well, with the iPad, the shortcut to take a screenshot is you are gonna hold down the lock button and the home button. And when you hold down the lock button and the home button, at the same time, it will take a picture. And if you watch my screen as I do this, it will flash. You see that flash right there? That was me taking a picture of my screen. So now when I come out of my app and I go to my camera roll, um, and I'm gonna go, actually it's called photos. Let's go to photos. And when I pull that up, you will see right here is my screenshot from today. And so I can uh, load that up if I wanted to, but I don't need to do that. I'm gonna switch back over to my app. 
So those are the basic gestures you need to know for your iPad. Um, we'll continue on in part two uh, of this, and part two will be uh, an introduction into the settings. The settings are crucial on your iPad uh, to using them effectively in the classroom, and so we'll spend a whole section in part two just covering the settings and the different things you can do, and then part three will be an introduction to apps that I think you could use in your classroom tomorrow. Thanks for joining.